I'm Al from the band Ravage from Boston, Massachusetts. Now you guys uh, just uh, finished playing at Dingbats. Do you guys get up the East Coast much? Well, right now we're doing a, uh, a tour of pretty much the whole United States. Uh, we're trying to anyway. Uh, we played New Jersey uh, earlier this year. Uh, that was actually the first time we played New Jersey and we're going to be playing again uh, at a metal fest in Vinland on October 17th. But, uh, you know, we're just trying to get to as many areas as we can in the United States and try to drum up some support for uh, traditional heavy metal uh, wherever we can and, you know, whenever we can. So um, we're trying to play as many places as we can. In New Jersey, this was actually a pretty good show. Now, are you touring with any of these bands or is this a, uh, just an entirely one-off show? We, uh, we had four shows in a row scheduled with uh, Seventh Calling, the band from Vegas, who's playing tonight. Um, two of those shows got canceled because we broke down between St. Louis and uh, Kansas City. We had to cancel two shows. Uh, but we did play last night with them and we're playing, we played tonight with them. And uh, we're going to be playing out in Vegas uh, in October, I think, with them. Uh, maybe it's late September, I can't remember, but we're going to be playing with them in Vegas at a place called Viejo's, which I guess is a, uh, some kind of taco bar. Cool. <laughs> now, how'd you guys make the move from a uh, German label? How'd you get to a German label, first of all, being from Boston over to Metal Blade? Yeah, I think it's um, more how did we get onto an American label, because <laughs> there's been no interest in this music in America in a long time. So um, we, uh, we were actually looking at uh, small European labels to put this album out, this new album, The End of Tomorrow. Uh, when we started reporting it, uh, you know, we didn't have any interest from any American labels. So um, we were looking at small German labels, an Italian label, because you know, over there, traditional metal still has a base of support, whereas in America, it's more extreme metal and stuff like that. So. Uh, we had no idea that any American labels were interested, although I sent our EP out to everybody. Um, so we were actually, uh, we had talked to a few labels and uh, we hadn't really been able to put a good deal together uh, because a lot of labels have been folding or cutting back lately, the smaller labels anyway, the ones that are more or less mail orders on their own. So uh, we were getting ready to actually put out the CD ourselves when Metal Blade contacted us and, and they said, uh, you know, we love the the, uh, the songs that we heard, can we hear the rest of them, we want to put it out, so that was, that was fine with us because we didn't know that there was any interest over here, so uh, this is actually the first time we've actually been officially released in America, and that's really cool. One thing about the American metal scene is that it is really diverse. Um, there hasn't been a lot of uh, support for traditional metal in the past decade, but it seems like that's changing based on the, uh, the resurgence of thrash metal. I think that's kind of what got it going when the thrash metal, the new wave of thrash metal bands came out of the West Coast, I think it opened up uh, some more acceptance for traditional metal. Now you're seeing the White Wizards and the bands like Twisted Tower Dyer getting more recognition. Uh, the bands are doing that traditional, traditional, uh, new wave of British heavy metal style metal. And then there's a band like us who is mixing more of the late 80s Bay Area thrash with that kind of metal. Uh, and so we got signed somehow. So uh, I think there, there is, it's, it's more palatable to people in America now. Uh, I think over the past 10 years, extreme metal has been the thing in America, but now people are once again turning around and saying, oh, there's another kind of metal, you know? It's, it can be melodic, you know? It can have, uh, you know, vocals that you can understand. Um, you know, and, and I have nothing against extreme metal. I mean, everybody in this band listens to extreme metal, so. Uh, it's just sort of like uh, trying to remind people that, you know, hey, this traditional metal is also metal. You know, a lot of the younger generation, I think, have forgot that. Um, and with metalcore being the predominant genre, I think, in America, uh, the younger kids have kind of forgotten that. So that's, we're just trying to raise aware awareness for this kind of metal. Now, you guys have been at it for, what, 10 years now? Where do you, where do you want to see for uh, the next 10 years? Uh, I, I guess I... At this point, I don't look at it as a timeline because we, when I started, I was so young and I don't know, naive uh, that I thought I was going to bring like traditional heavy metal back in like 1996 uh, when the grunge thing was happening and then new metal happened and uh, you know we we basically played our first show in 1996 and I, I formed the band when I was 
you know, just a kid playing drums in a basement by myself in like 1994. So I've been doing it for so long that the goals are now more concrete and less like, um, you know, I don't have a five year plan for this band. It's more like I want to get three good albums done sure. at some point. You know, it, maybe it'll take 20 years, but you know, we've got, we've got one, one album we're happy with. That's this album. Uh, the last album we weren't happy with the production, so we may go back and record that. That was probably a goal. But um, yeah, basically our goals are stuff that we, we look to reach, like making like, th two or three good albums, uh, hopefully another album, hopefully with Metal Blade or a similar label, but hopefully Metal Blade. Um, uh, playing a, a full tour of Europe, because we've never gotten a chance to do that. Playing some good European festivals, because we've we played two European festivals, but we've never really played the big ones. So we want to get over there and play Bach and, and all those other uh, you know, European festivals that we've heard of. And uh, play in Japan. We've always wanted to play in Japan. So I've heard Japan is huge for a metal band. That's yeah. what I've heard. <laughs> you know, yeah. we, heard uh, we heard good things about Europe, and Europe actually, uh, you know, when we played in Germany, that was... Uh, that lived up to our expectations like nothing had ever before. So um, I've only heard good things about it. And, uh, you know, we'd like to play wherever we can. We, I was talking to a, uh, a promoter from uh, Israel. And uh, so if we could get over there, that'd be cool. Anywhere exotic, we'd like to play. Sounds great. Now, you guys are playing Europa next month? Playing, uh, yep, Brooklyn. Uh, we're playing, uh, coming out of the... Um, Binghamton Metal Fest, which is in uh, Endicott, New York. Then we're playing uh, Club Europa in Brooklyn after that. You want to go to uh, either metalblade.com, we've got a basic page up there, uh, our MySpace, which has the most updated information is myspace.com slash SWWR, which is, that stands for Society for Worldwide Ravage, so if you uh, are interested in that. Um, we also have a .com, uh, RavageTheEarth.com, that's not, it's currently under construction, so you probably want to go to uh, MySpace.com slash SWWR for the latest updates on the band. Sounds great. Well, look, thanks a lot, Al. Anytime. Thanks for the interview.